If you've ever tried to edit videos using your phone, you know it's not the easiest process and usually not very intuitive. In fact, most of the time I cover editing softwares that require a computer. But in this video, I wanted to show you this app that makes editing on the phone very intuitive. It lets you get started completely for free without a watermark, which is really unique for apps that are on your phone for editing. And I wanted to show you exactly how to get the most out of this app and edit your videos without a computer. The app is called Filmer and it's available for iPhone and it's also available for Android. So I'll put a link below in the description. It's basically the same app on both devices. And what Filmer is, it's basically the quickest and the most flexible way to edit videos on your iPhone or iPad or Android. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to get started with it. I've already shot some video, but you could also use it to shoot the video clips as well. So let's go ahead and open it up here. So if you land on this page, I'm gonna show you all the paid upgrades in a following video. Right now, I'm gonna show you all the free options. So on the home page, you won't see any of this, okay? So to get started with this, you do have to either bring in clips that are already on your phone or use the camera function. So those two options right here on the bottom is how you get started. So I'm gonna start with choosing the camera option because I already recorded some videos with my phone. You do have to give it permission, obviously, to access those photos or videos. And then here you could go ahead and select as many as you like. So I'm doing a kind of a comparison between an old school camera and a new school camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and import them from here. And I'll go ahead and skip on this upgrade and press import. And this is the page where all the editing takes place. So I'm gonna walk you step by step through the editing process. I'll show you the most essential things that you gotta to do to edit your video. And if you go to the home page, you could actually choose the camera option and obviously record what's in front. So if I had something in front and I wanted to just use my camera to record it, I could just go ahead and record this way and it will also add it to my library. So I'm gonna press stop here and it does have options for recording faster and slower, very useful, but I usually record with my camera app. So I don't need to do this in this case. I'm just gonna delete this clip. So let's jump back into here and it's gonna lay down the clips for you in order, okay? The very first thing I recommend you do is actually under the format tab on top right here. So if you go to format, I usually here decide where my video is going to go, where the finished video is going to go. You could always do this at the end. I just prefer as a professional editor to do this in the beginning. And I'm gonna choose vertical. In this case, I'm gonna to go to the vertical IGTV on Instagram TV here. But if you were going somewhere else like YouTube, Facebook, you could choose that right from this page. If you're going on TikTok, also choose vertical. So now I could go back in the video tab and I could start editing. Okay, the very first thing you do after you choose your format is you could choose the order on how the clips are going to be laid out. So this is how easy this is. All you have to do is press and bring up a clip. Now this becomes clip number one, the other one became clip number two. If I wanted to go down and let's say clip number six needs to be the very first thing I show, I could bring it and put it right on top, right? Very easy to switch orders of clips. Now, anytime, if you feel like there's a clip missing, you could always press this option and again, import the same way from your camera roll or choose the camera to get access to it and record a new clip to put it somewhere else. And as usual, just grab and drag and drop the clip like this, okay? After I get the order of all my clips, the next thing I wanna do is I usually want to trim the beginning and the end of the clip. To do that, if you want a clip to start a little bit later, you just drag and it will start here. Let's start right over here when I move. So that's changing the beginning. And then the end works the same way. You just grab the end and bring it in and it's gonna end it this way. So I just basically changed the in point where my clip starts and the out point of the clip just by these arrows. And then I would typically go through and do this with all my clips to make sure it's edited exactly like I want it to be edited. At any time with any of them selected too, I could go ahead and preview it on top. So there's this clip, goes from this camera to this 6K camera. And then it's gonna continue to actually move down. So it's gonna show my whole story clip by clip, right? So I could preview or stop the preview at any time here and then go back with this arrow a little bit at a time. If I wanna see it full screen too, I could just press this, watch my preview, and you could see the little clips here are laid down this way. So if I jump ahead, I could jump ahead to another clip just like that. And if you wanted to, when you're on this page, you could always crop in too. So I could zoom in if I wanted to zoom in into a video to resize my framing. That comes really, really handy. 
I won't do it in this case. Let's go back to the edit mode. So now I have the order down. Let's say I'm done trimming all my clips, the in and out points of the clip. Next, what I typically want to do is I want to add transitions between clips. So I'm still in the video tab here and we're going to go through the top tabs in a second. But to add a transition, that's basically what happens when one clip ends and another one starts. So to add one between clip one and two, if I just press add transition here, I could see a bunch of transitions like fade. So for example, just to show you what a fade transition looks like, if I press play, that's what it looked like, right? So it's going to fade and not just be a normal cut. So fade and dissolve are the things that you get completely for free. So this is what a dissolve is, one of my favorite transitions of all time. And you could change the duration of the dissolve to make it longer or to make it faster if you wanted to do a very fast dissolve just like that. So another option I really like is what you could do to an individual clip. So if you press the three dots next to a clip over here, it's going to give you a full menu of things you could do to a clip. So you could actually delete a clip. A lot of times you added a clip that you no longer want and you don't even want to change the order. You want to completely delete it. So you just press this and get rid of that clip. Then I'll just go to another clip. You also could add filters, which is very useful. So if you choose the filters tab, you could add lots of different filters. Again, some of them with the crown or the paid option. I'll show you that in a following video. But here's a cool black and white effect, for example, I could apply to my older camera. Let's go back here. You also could do effects. Now effects are also useful. So you could add kind of effects like this. So here's a pretty cool effect. Let me show you this. This is like a Super 8 camera. So this kind of makes sense to put it on one of these shots. Like this is actually a Super 8 camera. So kind of makes perfect sense. Press the check mark, apply that effect. Let me go back here. You also have speed on volume. So a lot of times volume is helpful because if a clip has sound, like this one has a little bit of voiceover, we could actually reduce that and then let the music or the voiceover I record later to take effect. Now I'll show you that on top in a second. And one of the most important ones that I'll show you is you could actually split a clip. So if you split a clip, you'll go somewhere where you want the clip to split into two different clips, press the check mark, and it just made two separate clips for me. So I could individually trim the in point and the out point, right? Because if you trim the in point and the out point, sometimes you just want to take out a middle point and that's what the split option does for you. So when you're happy with your edit, let's go to the music tab because typically you do the edit first and then you add music. So to add music, I'm going to just choose this music library and Epidemic Sound, if you haven't heard of it before, it's a royalty free platform for music, typically where you could find music. You could choose any of these, go ahead and press play on it. I just have it on mute for this video, but if you select it, it's going to import that song and there you have it. And you could trim this in point and out point of a song just like you would do with any other clip you have a bunch of options like duplicating and deleting it here too. And in this case, I'm happy with the song. I'm going to leave it as is, but you do have options to trim it down. Next, I go to the voice tab. If I want to record voiceover, this is the place to do that. Very useful option here. Then the text, then you type on your text here, right? This is very straightforward. And you have a bunch of formatting options like this over here that you could change. And then when you're happy, you could actually place your text anywhere within the video here. You could also do this with other platforms. I like to actually add my text in the editing process. This layover option is more of an advanced option, but basically it allows you to basically lay down a video on top of another video that comes in handy. For example, if you're doing stop motion animation and the format we looked at before, but the nice thing is you could change it here. Now it doesn't make sense since I shot the videos in vertical, but if I had my phone flipped the other way, it makes sense for me to change to landscape mode. Okay. In this case, I shot everything vertical. I want it vertical and I chose vertical. The last thing you want to do is press share right here and share the video, right? So you could save it right to your phone. And if you shot things in 1080p or 4k, you will have those options. In this case, I shot it in 4k, so I could choose that, but 1080p is very common. Frame rate 24 is again how I shot it with my phone setting and you could choose export and it's going to export the video for you. I'm going to cancel and show you some of the other options too. You could go directly to any of your favorite social media platforms from here too. So if I choose Instagram, I could export it directly for Instagram from here. And if you want to go directly to a platform like Instagram, it's going to just put it right up here. You could share it to your story, to your feed. And if you went to IGTV, you could share it that way too.
At any time, you could go back to the home page, start a new project by importing or recording new videos, or check out some of your existing projects here, jump back into them, make edits for later. And it's that easy to edit videos right on your phone. And I wanted to thank Filmer for sponsoring this video. I think it's one of the most intuitive apps I've ever covered. And I hope you could benefit from it too. I'll cover the paid versions in an upcoming video on my app channel. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.